Hello and welcome to our next video, Backing Up Home Assistant. There are a number of ways to back up your Home Assistant configuration. Some of these are listed here and we will cover these in this video. First of all, I'll show the built-in Home Assistant backup function. To access this, click on Settings then System. From the sub-menu, click Backups. From here, click the Create Backup button. If you select Partial Backup, you'll be presented with a number of tick boxes allowing you to select individual add-ons or specific parts of Home Assistant. Full Backup backs everything up. A backup needs a name. Give it something meaningful. If you wish, you can also password protect it. Click Create and the backup process will run. Once complete, you'll see this backup in the list of backups. Click on it. From here, click on the three dots to either download the backup to your computer or delete it. By clicking Restore, you'll be prompted for a confirmation as it will wipe your current config. We'll download this backup by clicking on the three dots. Once downloaded, you can then copy this to an alternative location or keep it on your computer. The next option is the Google Drive backup. This automates the backup process and copies it to a Google Drive for an extra layer of protection. To install this, we need to add a repository. Full details of this are in the GitHub page, which I've linked below. This also contains detailed install instructions with screenshots. There is a URL that we need, which needs to be copied from the instructions or from the description below. To install, click on Settings, then Add-ons. Click on the Add on Store button. To add the repository, click on the three dots at the top right of the screen. Select Repositories. At the bottom, paste the URL that we copied in the Add section. Click Add. Once it's added and listed, click Close. Scroll to the bottom of the Add on Store and you'll see a new section. Click on the Google Drive Backup add-on. If you've seen my other add-on video, you'll be familiar with this screen. If not, always check the documentation for an add-on for any additional instructions. As we already have the instructions from the GitHub, go back to the Info tab and click Install. When it's complete, you'll see the add-on options. Switch the watchdog on, this ensures the add-on is always running. Click configuration, where we can set some options. The first states how many backups we want to keep in Home Assistant. The next, how many in Google Drive. Finally, how many days between backups. I normally want this to happen daily, so I'll change this to one. Click save. Click Info, then Start to start the add-on. Click Log to check that the add-on is running without errors. Go back to Info and click Open Web UI. This will take you to an initial setup screen where you will link the Google account. To do this, click Authenticate with Google Drive. At the sign-in screen, enter your email address. Then click Next. Type in your password.
then click Next. You'll be asked to let the add-on have access to your Google account. Click Continue. You'll be given an authorization string. This is entered into the add-on to link your account. If you click Send Credentials, this will do this automatically. However, in some cases you'll get an unauthorized error. If this happens to you, go back to the tab of the authorization string and click Copy. Go back to Home Assistant and paste the authentication string in the box provided. Click Save. Click either Yes or No to share error reports. If this is a brand new Google account, you might get a Please log into Google Drive manually error. If this happens, right click on the link provided. This should log you in automatically and set the drive up. Go back to the add-on and click Try Syncing Again. This should now be successful. You'll be asked to allow the add-on to delete multiple backups. Click Allow Deletion. This allows the add-on to avoid keeping too many backups on Home Assistant. Over the next few minutes, the add-on will copy backups to your Google Drive and delete older backups from Home Assistant. The list of backups should match exactly what is shown in the Home Assistant Backup section at Settings, System, Backup. If you run Home Assistant virtually on Proxmox, you can back up the virtual machine. To do this, open the Proxmox dashboard in a web browser. Select the VM and click the Backup option. Click the Backup Now button. Select the options you want or accept the defaults. Snapshot means Home Assistant continues to run during the backup. Click Backup. Once you see the Task OK message, the backup is complete and you can close this screen. Finally, we cover taking a clone of the SD drive Home Assistant is running on. To do this, we need to insert the SD card into your PC and run a program called Win32 Disk Imager. A link is provided in the description below. Make sure the device is correct, in this case Drive D. You can safely ignore the other options on this page. Click the folder icon to browse to where you wish to keep the backup. Enter a meaningful file name and click Open. When you're ready, click Read. Your PC will read the SD card and create an image file. When complete, click OK and remove the SD card. Thank you for watching. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel for further videos about Home Assistant and SmartTech.